All right, guys, I'm going to teach you how to change the font in Eterna for a theme. Uh, all you need is a font. If it happens to not be installed, then you need to install it. Uh, you would do that by double-clicking a TTF. Pretty simple. Uh, you also need the game installed. That's a pretty good start. Uh, once you have the game installed, you go to the folder of the theme which you are wanting to modify. Uh, we're going we're gonna to modify Till Death today. Then we go to the Fonts folder because that's where the fonts are. And that is our staging location. Uh, next thing you need is the texture font generator, which you can download from the internet. Here is the newer version of the main main uh, version of the texture font generator. Uh, we just crack it open, and this is what it looks like. Um, here we pick a font. Don't pick anything with an ad in front of it, or else you get a sideways letter or garbage. Don't know why. Not my problem. Uh, we're going to pick Impact. Uh, usually we have the smaller fonts in Eterna, a 24-point font. Uh, sometimes they're 16. I, I just kind of, it's up to you. Um, the top bar and bottom bars here need to be aligned with the top and bottom of the letters uh, to the best of your ability. Uh, you can actually change that later. This is just kind of a baseline. In fact, this is literally called a baseline. Uh, these up and down arrows will fit, will let you do that. Sometimes this, this letter generates so large that it's off the screen and you can't fix it. And that's, um, you're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, you can fix it by going to the I and I for the font right here. Um, those, those numbers are, this is the baseline and this is the top. Um, you'll just have to mess with those manually until it works out. Uh, really what that does is mess with the uh, Y position of the frames that it's rendering. Uh, usually you don't have to care that much, but this, it, it, it's pretty good by default. Anyways, um, here's some options we can mess with. Like we got bold and italics. Uh, usually anti-aliasing being on is a good idea. Uh, double res is not so necessary. Uh, for this application we won't use it. What that does is try to, try to force the game to render it in, in, in an original resolution. Um, stroke templates uh, adds on the stroke, um, or it changes this export into a stroke version, which what the stroke is, is uh, in the game, we're able to turn on uh, something called a stroke on a rendered texture, uh, on a rendered font. Uh, and what that does is, is a stroke is supposed to be like an outline or a, a, a faded area around words. <laughs> uh, kind of like, um, kind of like a, say if you put up Gaussian blur on text, that, that would be the example. Uh, this, 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 uh, I don't know what this does. Don't mess with it. Anyways, once you've got everything set the way you want, we're just going to hit save. Uh, we're going to save it straight to the fonts folder in this case. It's not really a requirement, but it's going to go there anyways, so that's where I'm putting it. And there we go. We've got our font has been generated. we got the I and I, and we got some frames, pages, uh, and that's it. Uh, now we need a larger version, actually, so let's get the 48 version out, save it, exact same settings. Uh, because the game needs a large and a small version of the font. So when we when we finish putting the font inside the fonts folder, we need to point the main uh, what the game refers to as the normal main font and the large main font to that font. We do that by using the common normal and common large reader files. In the common normal reader, uh, we have to change what it's pointing to to the name of the INI that we want to represent it. So the normal font is the smaller one. We just change it to this, uh, Impact 24, and we close it. You can do the same thing with the larger one. And that's that. That's done. That, that is all done. Uh, at this point, you have installed the font, and you can consider yourself done. There is one extra step to, to take, though. Uh, if you were to continue from here, you would realize that uh, there's 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 some setups, and by some I mean most, um, 
in which the Asian fonts, like uh, Japanese, uh, particularly Japanese and Chinese, the, of the uh, font, the glyphs that you're going to see in this game that have this issue, they they render very large uh, because the fallback font is a different size from what the normal font that you've chosen is. Uh, in order to fix that, you need to generate those pages for the font you're using. Well, the problem is, uh, right here, Impact Font doesn't support those, and the texture generator that I used doesn't generate those pages. To get them to generate, we need to use a specific version of the texture font generator for those glyphs. And it takes a while to open because there are so many of them. In fact, there are thousands. Uh, maybe not thousands, but definitely way, way many hundred, many hundred numbers. I don't know what you'd call that. But yeah, if we go to Impact, we would see that by default, at least on my system, Impact doesn't have anything. It's a bunch of squares. Your TTF of choice needs to have these letters in its, uh, I guess you could call it its dictionary. Um, so, we will go through the exact same steps we did with the other font as I change these settings up. All right? Then I go to save it, and I will actually give this the wrong name. I will call it Impact uh, 24px. Before I save it, I want to rename this with another underscore, and I want to rename this with another underscore. Uh, because when I save this, it's not, it's not going to merge them, it's going to overwrite them. Uh, so let me put that there. Okay, so now we've got our, our uh, Japanese font, basically. And we will now need a larger version, so here's the 48 one. Takes a minute to generate. Alright, and we do the exact same thing. I'm gonna fake the name here. It's actually not impact. I'm very funny, so we're gonna call it impact. Okay, so there's our impact. Uh, <clears throat> reason it had to be the same name is so that the INI and all the other uh, uh, sprites end up in the same uh, kind of, kind of uh, data structure. Um, the name's not really important as long as they have the same name. So what we do, what we can do with this other one that we renamed is we need to use it to merge these files. And all we have to do to do that is a copy paste. And boom. Okay. Same thing with 48. We don't want to copy the top of the file. That is one thing. But that should do it. Okay. Throw those away, and now we open the game. My game takes a few seconds to load. And there is our impact font. I will go hover a song with those letters, and we can see that the font is correctly sized. It may need a little bit of fine tuning. I can tell that it's a little bit lower than it should be. All we have to do to fix that is mess around with the baseline that we have in the font. So if we go over here, we can mess with this. Or we can put the same line in this section. Or no. Actually, it's going to... Okay, you could put it in this section. Uh, that would take forever, is all I can say. Because there's a lot of these pages. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is where you would modify things most of the time. Um, what, these letter, what, these, what these lines do is basically uh, um, say this is line 0... Zero, one, two, three, uh, and this is one, two, three, four. 
zero, one, two, three are the letters that appear on the first line here. These are the first four of them. The thirteen here is the width of this of this uh, zero, basically. That is that is how that works. Um, this is actually using this uh, kind of methodology. You can actually add in like uh, emoji support, for example. Uh, but that is it. Uh, once you have done these steps, now you have changed your font. Thanks for watching.